again um, in 20 summer 2016 we went to sail the keys around marathon uh, vac key um, and some of the things I've added to the cockpit was uh, I increased my solar panel and redid a new bracket for that and the flag from a 20 watt panel I had to uh, a 50 watt panel and it does adjust down and up a little bit um, I added this box that hangs off to the the stern rail um, to put all our uh, masks and snorkels in and I strapped my crab traps on top there too. Um, I've had the grill for a while. Um, it was one of the first things that was purchased extra. Um, the engine I said it's in a compartment in the lazarette back there. You can kind of see I've got cracked open drying her out. Um, for that same trip I did an anchor, emergency anchor holder made out of aluminum stock from Home Depot, it's with the uh, solar panels made out of two, mostly aluminum from, uh, um, rack is made from Home Depot aluminum, and screwed, bolted, and uh, pop riveted together. Um, so that's next. My, I have my two buckets that kind of hang off the rail too, and the other thing I made for this summer was uh, a solar shower, which is two gallon pressurized container I spray painted black. I made a a rack for that to hang off the stern rail um, again that's from aluminum from stock from Home Depot and then I have a line that can be attached to our safety throw ring and I've had that on the boat for a while too um, my cushions are the original that I purchased the boat um, they are in pretty bad shape and need to be replaced so that might be on the list this for 2018 um, there is a hand pump and that's what that is which I've never used. I just put a, a electric bilge pump into the uh, the main bilge of the hull, and uh, so I've never really used that pump ever. Um, and I have a speaker out here in the cockpit, and that has a watertight hatch, so it gets closed off. Um, I have some PVC cup holders that I've made. I had a three-inch PVC pipe. The two back here. Um, I've got a little bag that's on there. It keeps my whistle in. The bimini was also added, it's a six foot bimini was added for the trip to Florida and instead of being used to keep the sun off us, it actually was used more to keep the thunderstorms off of us. So uh, I like it very much, the boom stays above it. Um, once you see I can get in there and stand, it has standing head broom, um, so I like it, it doesn't. The only thing it's a little more difficult getting up forward on the boat with it up, but uh, that's life. Uh, the other thing I've had, um, used to have fishing pole holders on both sides. They got moved over for our, in 2016 to this side. Usually I really pretty much carry two poles, um, a boat pole for trolling, and then I have a casting rod. And they can go down below too. They work pretty good out here. Sometimes the, 
the, the main sheet comes over and hits them, so you have do have to be careful depending on the sailing conditions. So, um, the other thing I have, uh, the cushions were added to the safety rails here. I think the second year I had it, um, and I used to use uh, West um, West Marines netting around the sides, and after two years I changed it twice it just rots out so I decided I think I can make my own netting and sat here and wove my own netting it's a little bit bigger so it keeps uh, big objects from falling out and uh, the kids from falling out now they're bigger so that didn't really happen and this is the second season and it looks like I'm gonna get another season if not two so I will continue doing this it actually wasn't that difficult to do um, so I'm gonna go forward now and just show you what I have set up up there you can see the like in the hatch has three teak slats. Um, I have vents in the top one, so there's always a little bit of helping to get the moisture out of. I added um, it is kind of a flip up top, which is kind of nice and bad at the same time. But it was the best way, I guess, with the amount of space they had to do it. Um, usually, if no one's down below, we're sailing this situation so you can see forward um, and. As I'm going to climb forward, the mass is not up, but it can be done. This is the original uh, forward hatch I've had. I think I only reset the glass once with new silicone. Um, it's nice because without it, it definitely, even with the six portholes, you really need the hatch to have good airflow. Um, there is no anchor locker on a skipper. Um, so... I've been just keeping my anchor locker, my anchor line, I mean, forward in a bag, different types. This year it's, a, it's like a mesh one. Um, originally came with this big T cleat, and then when I added the bow roller, I think our third season, that now holds a 16-pound Bruce anchor, which I love. Um, holds the boat through all kinds of stuff. Um, I've been very happy with it. Um, serves us here in uh, New Jersey, <clears throat> out in, the, in sand and grass, it sets. I've spun around at night, and I've never, it's, this anchor is never drugged. We did drag, drug one time during the day with the wind shift with the nine pound Danford I have. Um, I did add another wood teak cleat. I got teak for my brother. Um, I have come through here, and these have all been reinforced with stainless steel plates behind them which there was just washers before, and I uh, built up the fiberglass before I put the stainless steel on. Um, same thing with the, the bow roller. Um, very convenient having a bow roller. The only other thing that probably makes the boat more convenient is now having the uh, roller reefing, which was added for 2016 for our trip to the Keys. Um, I think the only thing my existing sail fit on it, I am looking for for this coming 2018 season getting a larger head sail um, now that I can actually reef it in um, that'll help balance the boat a little bit so you know looking back for a 20 footer there's actually a lot of space on the boat I'd have to say um, and it's a good amount of space to hang out and sit you really can't lay on the front but uh, it's a good place to just you can sit. Kids love hanging up here when we're sailing. And it's a good place to jump off while we're sailing if they want to jump and swim. So, that's the bow of the skipper. Let's go inside.